So um, we have quite an adventure planned today. Yesterday we went to the store and we bought some necessary items that we need to um, dump the yuck yuck out of the RV tank. There's a tank in the bottom. We're very new to this. So we've been YouTubing a lot. Um, so we got, we got a hose and we found a place to do it. And when we bought it, the girl lied and said that it was empty, but it was not. So we have to deal with this. Um, I am loaded up with gloves. <laughs> and we're going to get some gas and uh, hit the road and try this. He's going to tell you in his version. So heute um, haben wir zu... Uh, ich glaube, es ist eine Klärgrube in Deutsch und äh, wir werden das äh, Campingmobil mit den, äh, den Pup leeren. Äh, wir haben äh, Gummihandschuhe, ein paar alte Sachen an, hoffentlich die Ventile äh, funktionieren gut und äh, dann schauen wir mal, wie das geht und ob wir wieder sauber zurückkommen oder dann duschen müssen. Okay. Well, here we go. Um, stay along for the adventure. We are going to dump the poop tank. Um, we also bought a bunch of stuff yesterday, um, like to redo it. So we're excited for that. We're going to put some new walls up. It won't be pink anymore. Um, make it a little more homey. <clears throat> but yeah. So stay tuned. Um, we're gonna get on the road because we don't want it to get too late. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. We've had a little bit of an issue at an intersection. It did not go well, but we have a nice soul here that is helping us out. So we're very thankful. Hopefully we get this together. So, it died on the intersection and that friendly man helped us out, towed us all the way. So we put another battery in, charging it with a generator. And also, almost lost the wheel because the previous owner didn't tighten the nuts all the way. But, it's all good. Got to figure it out and that's a uh, crash course of uh, RV handling I guess well, this almost fell off got the nuts back need to change the tires first time on the road with this thing but so far so good I think we get going to dump our poop and we go from there They're still broken down. Can't see me very well. So yeah, we are uh, still broken down. There was a gentleman and his wife and another older RV who stopped to help us when we were in the middle of the intersection and they towed us to safety. And then this guy said he knows all about this RV we just got um, because he has one around the corner that we can use for parts. So the universe has come to our rescue once again. Um, yeah, um, we have determined that the fuel pump is bad, which isn't a big deal, um, but they had the part not too far from here. And this guy offered to go pick up the part and then put it in for us. Never even met this guy. Um, but I think it's a good sign. His name is Sean and St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. <laughs> so I don't know. But anyway, um, we are definitely blessed. Hopefully we, he gets back here soon. Um, in the meantime, I know you guys have seen all of the crazy, all of the crazy rhinestones 
that are glued all over this RV. There's like little sparkly things and just dollar store stuff. Um, trying to get all that off. So far, I have a bag of it. It's crazy. But um, something to, to spend the time while waiting for Sean to get back with our park. Um, but we do plan on taking very good care of this guy too. Um, but I just wanted to make a little video so you guys know what's going on. It's not all peaches when it comes to buying used stuff, but like I said before, we got a great deal on it <clears throat> and the universe is working in our favor at this moment. So all we can do is hope for the best and go with the flow. Yeah. everyone so i just wanted to give y'all an update of how um yesterday ended oh my goodness what an escapade it lasted a long time so we ended up waiting for sean um for about an hour and a half um he said that there was a an accident on the freeway and it was just going to make it really tough to go pick up the part where we wanted to but in the meantime, he had located the part at another place and he didn't have enough money to get it. So he came back um, to where we were broken down and he got the money from us. We couldn't ride with him because his dogs didn't like strangers, which was fine. We trusted him at that point. He came back. Um, so we gave him the 40 bucks for the part. He went and picked it up. He came back and he patiently put this part on for us. Um, we did everything we could to help him. Um, one of his hands didn't work so well. It was one of the reasons he was on disability. Um, but he knew this, this RV inside and out. So in time, he replaced the part. Um, we got it running. It started up right away. So he diagnosed it correctly. And, um, we were stoked. Um, at that point, we... Still had not dumped the tank, the poop tank that we were originally going there for to begin with. We also almost lost our back two tires. Um, while Sean was towing Dirk and the RV out of the intersection, um, we noticed how bad it was and that the wheels were wobbly. Once they got to safety, we realized that we had lost um, four or five lug nuts. And one of the posts holding the lug nuts was even popped off, like broken off the metal. So it was very scary to know that we could have been inside that thing and had all the four back tires fall off. Um, the universe has just been on our side lately. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, so anyway, yeah. Not only did we have to deal with the fuel pump issue, we had to deal with this tire issue too. So... Sean, this guy was like an angel sent to us somehow. Um, so he ran across the street. He knew the owner of a tire place that was right across the street. He borrowed the um, the wrench to tighten them. And what he did was he, he took some bolts from the other side, put them on the side that was missing to try to balance it out. And at the same time, he found out that his friend at the tire place said that he would um, sell us six used tires for the RV, mounted and balanced, installed the whole deal um, for only $400. And, you know, they would guarantee that they were good used tires, not some crap that they were putting on. So I think we're going to go back and do that because the guy ended up being closed um, when we were finished with the, the fuel pump. So we couldn't go right after. But... Um, so we got it running. We thanked um, we thanked Sean profusely. My goodness, we were so thankful for that man. We exchanged phone numbers with him, and we gave him all the cash that we had, which wasn't a lot in our eyes, but he seemed very, very grateful. Um, and then 
you know, we parted ways and told him that we would like him to do a tune-up on it since he knew the thing so well. And he agreed. And we're going to go from there to, uh, to, to, you know, start getting this thing straightened out before we have to live in it full time. Um, so, like I said, the whole main thing about going yesterday was to dump the tank. So we were still like right next to the tank place, uh, the dumping, the dumping station. So at that point we said, well, we might as well still go, you know, we can baby these tires, um, to get them home since Sean did such a great job securing them. And so we went to dump it. So we get up to the pump. We ended up paying, you know, to dump. It was $10 and we get our new hose out and we get our new, uh, sewer hose out and we, I connected it to the water and we put it through the window and in, in the toilet. I've done this before when I was a kid. It's been a while, but I, you know, it's kind of simple. So my husband, Dirk is down there, um, down there with the sewer hose and we got it into the hole in the ground and a little bit of poop juice leaked. Thank God we had gloves. Um, but we maintained and it was okay. So his job was outside, my job was inside. We, I get inside to flush the hose, the water, the clean water through the tank as it's flushing down the sewer hose. And all of a sudden it starts filling up. The toilet starts filling up. And I was like, oh my goodness, what is going on? So I yell, please, please shut it off, shut it off. So he shuts it off and <clears throat> go figure. I can look, I can see in the hole and it is packed solid with toilet paper. I had a stick nearby, so I packed the stick in and tried poking it around and breaking it up and nothing. So at that point, I went down to the other side to help him at the sewer hose and he said nothing was coming out. We had a little bit of juice, brown water come out and that was about it. Um, at that point, we started shaking the hose and, you know, kind of rocking the RV to try to move some stuff in there. And when I shook the, the big hose, a tampon came flying out. So not only did this woman lie about dumping the tank, but she put tampons inside an RV tank. You just don't do that. I know you don't do that. I think it's common sense. Most people know you don't do that. That stuff doesn't break down. So at this point, we've realized, uh, gosh, it's going to be really bad. We're going to have to snake it, something else. There's nothing coming out. So we claw, we put the cap back on. We put the hoses all back away. And we had to devise a plan on what we were going to do next. So after a bunch of thinking today, um, the plan that we have come up with for the RV is that we are just going to remove the black tank. We're going to cut it off, remove it, and dispose of it. Um, <clears throat> once we get onto the land... We are going to be parking the RV and it won't be going anywhere. It'll be permanently parked. So at that point, um, I was going to build a composting toilet in it anyway. So um, instead of doing it twice, like snaking it out and cleaning it and then, you know, removing the tank once we get to the land, we've decided to just altogether remove the tank, get rid of it not waste the time unclogging it and just close up the hole. Um, at that point, we will rip out the toilet and create or build our own composting toilet in there. Uh, that's what we we're going to do anyway once we're out in the desert. So we might as well do it now and be prepared. So uh, we will be showing that build as well. So just stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on. I know we haven't actually hit the land and started the off-grid experience yet, but this is everything leading up towards it, and it's our learning experience in it. So thanks for joining us, and subscribe because it's just going to get better from here. Um, I didn't get a lot of footage yesterday because we were, we were just running around crazy. Um, but today... It's going to be a better day, so stay tuned.